He's a man of mystery in a painting that's raising a lot of questions, and Lowell police are on the case tonight. It's a formal portrait depicting a Lowell police lieutenant. Now, best guess, it was painted at least 80 years ago, but who's the man, and are the clues right there in the painting? This is going to be somebody's great-grandfather or great-uncle. But who is the very distinguished gentleman staring from the canvas? It's a missing persons case with a twist. But it's a good, a good investigation. You're, not, you're looking for a happy outcome. The painting was found here at the Lowell Photography Studio of George Poirier, who passed away a few months ago, along with this. I mean, is it, that's the old negative. There was also a black and white photo used as a model for the painting and an envelope that doubles as a receipt, indicating the portrait was done in December of 1964 at a cost of $125. And it was paid for by the Lowell Police Relief Association, which no longer exists. It even has instructions for colors. You could dictated, you know, the badges and the buttons were to be gold, uh, the hat was to be white, the jacket was to be blue, the eye color. Lowell Police Captain Tim Crowley is intrigued by the mystery. He believes this police lieutenant is wearing a uniform from the 20s or 30s. Because that's an old era uniform. But was this a retirement portrait, or was the officer killed in the line of duty? Questions, but no answers. I mean, it's obviously it's very impressive work. You know, you look at the painting off that photo, uh, the detail is, is outstanding, down to the hat actually is a little crooked on his head. And they want to make all this public. The Lowell police are hoping that somebody will recognize that picture, that portrait, and eventually they will be able to get it back to that man's family. The work is outstanding. Isn't it beautiful? You have to believe that someone, I mean, he's a striking individual. Right. Someone will, will see the story and will come forward. Right. And as Eric pointed out a second ago, that was kind of a lot of money to pay for a painting in 1964. So it was clearly someone of yeah. prominence. So we'll let you know if that mystery is solved.